It has been a tough year and a half for the labor market. Yeah, the pandemic has impacted who wants to work, who can work safely, and how much businesses can pay. KPRC2's Taisha Walker live in downtown Houston with the impact it's having on businesses and prospective employees alike. Taisha? Christine, Irma's, the restaurant right behind me, is one of those businesses that was impacted during the pandemic and then as a result had a shortage of employees. Today, the owner tells me they have a full roster and things are looking up. You're doing good, ladies. When we first met Irma Galvan five months ago. Fresh everything. Her namesake restaurant was experiencing a labor shortage. Business was slow and 13 of her 17 employees had left. People started coming in, and uh, and we started hiring more people. How's your food good? Galvan says the Delta variant is now eating away at business. Still, she's been able to employ 10 new workers. In order to have more employees, we have to raise up the prices or on their wages. Federal unemployment benefits ended Labor Day weekend. While Galvan hopes this will lead to more people working, Stephen Craig, an economics professor with U of H, says the economy might not rebound so quickly. Well, I guess I'll expect some labor supply response, right? I think there'll be some more workers, but I don't think there's going to be a big surge all of a sudden. Recent Cypress Creek High School grad Bevan Covington says finding a job hasn't been easy, though many industries say they're desperate for workers. The 19-year-old says he's been handing out dozens of resumes and filling out more than 100 job applications online since May. 20-hour NMLS uh, course. His dream job is to work in the mortgage or title industry. Today, he shopped his resume around Willowbrook Mall. He says the job market has been discouraging. It definitely doesn't feel like the shortage, but they keep saying that they need help, and I'm willing to help. Professor Craig says one thing that will help the local economy is if there is more incentives for prospective workers, such as more money on the table, something that Irma's has already done here at their restaurant and have seen a positive change come out of it. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.